Yo, it's me again, Sophie G here, back for another video. Today, I'm on FIFA 16, playing um, non city career mode again. I think we're on to episode 9 or 10 now, which is quite good. Um, coming up to the January transfer window soon, in like the next month or two, so probably in like two episodes more and we'll be there. But before I get into it, I want to say my sloth, sw my sloth swag again. Also, um, the the game versus Wales ended 2-1 to um, two one to England, which was an amazing result. Which we got, we're now on four points instead of one, which is so much better. And I, I think I think we're probably going to beat Slovakia and probably get into the um, round of 16. Probably I think we'll probably finish first. And I hope you like that intro. You know that sloppy G one. That's a pretty sick intro. Anyway, let's get into the game against Chelsea now. We're probably gonna I don't know, probably say play play the same team as last time. We, we won a lot of games yes, um, last time out. Come on, City. Right then, so in the next game we are playing Chelsea, but before we get into it, I've just had a, Scot um, a Scotland um, FA kind of international job offer. But I'm not going to accept it, because I didn't accept the Wales one, I know, I think Scotland are kind of worse because they don't really got that star man. Well, they got, you know, they got Naitrith, they got um, Stephen Whitaker, Ma um, M Martin, you got, um, yeah, you got all them good North City players, you're going to bang loads of goals in the championship, I'm, I'm assuring you that, well, Naismith will, but... Maybe not the defenders, but um, so the team we're going to play is probably something like this. We're probably going to play pretty much the same team, but I'm going to I put Gigi in for Malumbu, and at half time if we're not playing well against Chelsea, I might bring on and Bacani, maybe Stephen Naismith. But yeah, I'm actually going to put Pinto on the bench because I think I don't know he can do a job. I think at like right mid, left mid. Cause he's quite I know maybe not left mid, but right mid he probably could do a job. So I'm going to take out Halson because he's. Pinto is quite fast, so maybe you can uh, tear apart the uh, Chelsea defenders. But I think I'm going to go with a 1 1 score. I think and Bogo is going to get another to maybe put. I think he's going to get golden boot this year because look, um, top scorers Lukaku and then Mbolo. So I think if he gets this one, he'd probably go above Lukaku. And I think he is going to get the golden boot this year. Come on, Mbolo, get another goal for City. And let's win this year. Right, so the game did end 1-0 to Chelsea, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we did lose 1-0. Um, Diego Costa got the goal, so that means um, Mbolo will be now third. No, we'll be joint first with three other people in the golden boot. The goal was a nice header, to be honest, to be fair to him. Um, it was off the bar and then in. I don't really know what the man on the line was doing. I think it was Hulan. So, you know, he's not really going to make it, is he? One more time. Look, there you go. Off the bar, yeah. Hulan was never going to make that. To be honest, it wasn't. Re this game was pretty much dead. This was the, um, the first, like, two minutes. And that was, it wasn't too far off. But I just thought I'd go with Gloria of Castillo, who actually really hit the ground running. He's played all right, but not the best. And that was a nice save. And then to... Um, get the rebound after so it doesn't go to their player. That was good work by Gigi Rafoe. And then this was um, their free kick in the second half. It, was, it weren't too far off, but I think Ruddy had it covered. Um, the stats, we didn't, no one really played too well. Four, we had four shots, two on target. They had seven um, and four on target, so it was alright. But we did lose in the end, so we need I don't know who we're playing next but whoever it is they're gonna go down we need a win we need a win I think this sloth t-shirt it hasn't been too lucky in the first game we played with it in the first like kind of episode we played with it it got us some luck but not a lot of luck I think I think it, we need to win the next game so I'm just gonna do some more training um, get the players to their top um, capability and I hope I think TL ones will go up to 79 probably the next training session if he does well we are fifth with 23 points and Manchester City are second with 29 points. So we're not too far away from the top. I think Chelsea are first. Yeah, Chelsea are first with 31 points. So we really need to win that game. But they, they held out for a 1-0 a, a win. And that was unfortunate on us because we kind of look like the Beckett team, but kind of not because our summer... So in the next game, we're playing Arsenal um, in like today. Well, not today, but in in the game we're playing today. And um, I'm playing a completely different formation: four-one-two-one-two wide. 
Uh, Bellerin's against his old team, so hopefully maybe he can run up the pitch and get a goal or something like that. But we're playing Chelman, CDM, Netty Smith, um, Cam, because Wesley Hulahan haven't really been cutting it recently, and I think we need more of a physical player to play against Arsenal. And then we got Umbakani and Mbola up top, who are both just amazing players. Especially at 18, look at Bo Mbolo's stats, look at them. 85 strength, 81 stamina, 87 sprint speed. It's just that player. I don't know, I, I think Tottenham or other teams in the Premier League in real life are trying to buy him. But Mbakani, he'll probably just leave in the summer because he don't really care that we've gone down, does he? He's just, he's just there for the money. Right, so the game against Arsenal. Oh my god, well, it was an amazing game. He won 2 0 in the end. Beat Arsenal 2 0, which is an amazing result. Like, I literally just said, what I'm about. But as you can see in the background, that, um, they've been having some, they had some right chances. Well, back in like the 15th minute, got a chance, but we did go in and look at that. That was a nice shot by Redmond. Bit of a tap in by, well, not a bit, but it was a tap in by Mbolo. Bit lucky, but their defenders didn't clear up, you know. So, and then they got another free kick. I swear, like everyone's just doing free kicks. They've run over the ball, and they're like, I don't know what's going on. Like, whoa! And then John Ruddy in the 66 minute made a quite amazing save, to be honest. That was a good save. If not, that was definitely going in. Look at that. Good one-handed save. And then in the 86 minute, they're all going all out attack, and then Bowler ran through, passed him, and boom, into the back of the net. And Bowler, I think, in probably about three, um, three quarters of Bowler's goals are just finesse shots into the bottom corner because they always try it with Mbolo and then he just, it just always works but and then in the 90th minute Olivier Giroud misses that I don't know how he misses that he hits the post like while he was on the floor and then it's just I don't know how you miss that but to be honest we probably deserve the win more there, there was a few other good chances where I was running through and they really couldn't stop me but I don't know and then I, I can't muck the chance up because they're all out of attack and they're yeah, I was trying to do some skill moves for some reason. But that's going to be the end of the gameplay for this video. I think... I'm not sure who we're playing in our next match, but uh, they're playing Callum Chambers at right back. Like, seriously. Seriously. Like, who... I'm not... Why don't you just get a new right back? Um, look at this. Two, 25 grand a week. Spurs want me as their manager. Spurs. Tottenham Hotspur want me as manager. No, I... I'm going to stall it, but I don't think I'm going to accept it. And Ecuador want me as their manager. No, you're not. Oh, I'm not going to Ecuador anytime soon. See, Wales still want me, but I'm not going to Spurs. I don't, uh, this is a nice city career, though, so I don't think I'm going to go to Spurs. I'm going to leave it. If anyone wants me to go to Spurs, leave it in the comment section. I'll have a look if there's any good reasons to. But I'm only getting 25k a week, which, you know, probably not too much more than I'm getting here. But in the next game, we are playing Watford, which is probably an easy win. Like, I, I, I think, yeah. Towards the end of the lot, um, this season, they started playing really badly, um, but, and then they sacked their manager, which you know, I think I thought their manager was the right. I think he would, um, if better if they kept him, but obviously not. And Mbola at the moment is top of the top scorers in the Premier League, which a Norwich City player. Let me just say that again: Norwich City player is top scorer in the Premier League. And then Costa and um, Lukaku are behind him, so we've got nine. Then um, Costa's got um, no. Costa's got nine, and I've got eleven. So it's all quite good. I'm. I think um, next episode I might simulate a few games. I'm not sure if you guys like that or not, but just to get to the transfer market a bit quicker, so then I can sign some amazing um, young talents or just any players really. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Um, let's go for seven likes again. Um, we got, I think we got eight or seven likes last time on the sloppy ball talk. It went down amazing. Thank you everyone for watching it. And yeah, that was the end of this video. See you later. Peace.